Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert. And in this video, I'm going to show you a third way of being able to convert old sessions that use Sound Designer 2 files as their audio file format into something that we can use in Pro Tools 11 and above. And this little trick I found out by accident, but I suspect one of the reasons that it works is if I just select one of these Sound Designer 2 files and we get the info, I've set it to open to my current version of Pro Tools. It's set to open this file, so if you double click on it, it's set to open in Pro Tools 2018. So what you do is you open the session as we did with the one where we converted the files with Audapter. So we just open up this session. This will open as it did before in Pro Tools 2018.1 in this case, which is what I'm currently running at the moment. We get the same session notes message that the files could not be read or appear corrupt. They can't be read because they're Sound Designer 2 files and Pro Tools 12 and now 2018 don't support uh, Sound Designer 2 files. We don't worry about a report. We skip all the files as we did last time. And again, uh, we're just going to open that out a little bit. I'm going to close the mix window for now because I want to have access to the folder. So the folder containing the Sound Designer 2 files. Also need to have the clip list open. Now watch what happens when I double click on this file here. It processes it and it puts it in the clip list of the session that I've got open. The file name remains. You'll see that in the audio files folder, we've now got a WAV version of it. So if I now do the right hand one and you'll see now that we've got a stereo file, we've got the two together. And so obviously you can just work your way down the files double clicking on them till we've got all the files and you can see now that we've got matching files as we did before. So now we could go through and use the match file technique again. Same point, we need to be able to clear off the fades and then open out the files so that we've got the absolute head and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ungroup all of those just to make things easier so highlight on that now of course I could use the match techniques but I know which one's which so by holding down the control key and dragging out on the, from the clip list there we go I can snap this to the same point so we can now go quiet one left so highlight that one hold down the control key drag that out now drag its other half out choir 2 ms pair drag that out choir 2 there we go bring those out together and as you can see we've now got all our audio files all open we haven't had to use a third party application. I could then obviously continue through this and prep up my session. The same caveats as with the technique using Audapter is you've got to be able to get back to the beginning of the file on the timeline. So you might need to do some copying of, of tracks so that you can, if you've got edits with them, you can peel back without losing lots of other information. By and large, as long as it's really not a very busy, messy session, you should be able to reconstruct the session using this technique from an old session using Sound Designer 2 audio files. I hope these have been helpful, and I'll see you again soon.